so I was pretty scared because like a lot of people, because actually my brother Connor Downey, he was in the music room and we had a little pod outside of the um, old school and the ceiling started coming down on that class. But they got out safe and sound. You should always like get down on the ground, cover your head or your neck, and get up, get under something stable, and you hold on to it. Tens of millions of people were startled by the sudden ground shaking from a rare magnitude 5.8 earthquake in central Virginia in August of 2011. Just this school year, there were celebrations for the reopening of Thomas Jefferson Elementary School in Louisa County, right at the earthquake's epicenter. Well, the day of the earthquake, we obviously didn't know what was coming, but I was outside on the playground, all safe. Um, I was actually on the swings of my old school, and it just, the ground just started shaking. And my friends and I were pretty scared because we were only in about second grade. And so we got off and went to our teachers and then we all sat down and we were just talking quietly to each other. And we were outside when it happened and we were at recess and there was shaking and everything and we thought that somebody was just doing construction or something. And because we were like right near the train tracks and everything, so we thought it was just one of those things. And then um, every, and then it started shaking really badly. And then we saw everybody evacuating from the bu building and we saw some of the bricks just falling. And it, it was really scary. It made me feel that it was almost over. Everyone made me feel that it's closer to being over. But um, we still have a few aftershocks. We at USGS are delighted at the reopening of the Thomas Jefferson Elementary School in Louisa County. Ever since the earthquake of 2011, USGS geologists and seismologists have been working in Central Virginia to understand the earthquake, its aftershocks, the ground effects that were caused by the earthquake, and the geology that's responsible for earthquakes in Central Virginia. Those studies are ongoing. But already, results from that research have been incorporated into our 2014 update to the National Seismic Hazard Map. These maps depict expected levels of shaking from earthquakes and are used in building codes so that buildings could be built safely. The school has been built to current codes and standards. It's a beautiful structure. It's got plenty of grout and reinforcing steel inside of it to create a safe environment for the Thomas Jefferson School community. It's going to provide the local community with years of safe service, aesthetic beauty, and it's just a quality product overall. Well, if you're in a classroom when you um, when the announcements, I guess, come on and say there's an earthquake or an earthquake drill or something, um, you usually um, you get under your desk or a table and you grab onto the legs of it and you just like, I guess, duck your head and so it's safe. Well, they should really practice because if they didn't practice, then otherwise when a real earthquake happened, then they wouldn't know what to do. Hold your legs of your desk and you just sit there until you guys can evacuate. Drop, cover, and hold. People may think that the USGS is composed of a group of scientists who measure seismic activity and study earthquakes, but actually they do a lot more than that. I've learned that since our earthquake in Louisa three years ago. They use that information to help us understand the hazards and risks that are associated with earthquakes and to help us be prepared. For instance, they're promoting the Great Shakeout, which is encouraging 
uh, people across the United States to participate in um, earthquake drills so we will know how to behave when one might happen to us. In addition, they provide information on how to prepare our homes and our buildings um, to withstand seismic activity, whether it's a new building or to prepare the, the places that we already live in. At USGS, we're dedicated to understanding earthquake hazards across the country and across the world. We continuously update our seismic hazard maps and we provide information and tools so that families, businesses, and communities can be safe. It's important to understand your risks from hazards. The government has deemed September National Preparedness Month and is putting an abundance of data on the web so that you can understand what to do before, during, and after hazardous events. We also encourage you to sign up for The Great Shakeout, an annual earthquake response exercise this year held on October 16th.